coming up right now on The Doctors, where MD meets TV. So we got a lot of yellow up here. We got these yellow cards. I got a yellow bracelet on. Yeah, what we're going to talk about is something actually very serious occurring in hospitals across the country. You may know that yellow is a color a lot of people are wearing on the wrist. Lance Armstrong has sold a lot of bands, but it's caused red flags in some hospitals. Take a look at this. Hospitals across the country are working together to make their patients safer. They're joining a national movement to standardize the color coding of those hospital bracelets. The color codes can mean different things in different hospitals. That's why health groups are backing a plan to standardize the bracelets in all U.S. medical centers. The push for a national standard began after a patient who went into cardiac arrest almost wasn't revived. 26 states have now agreed to use the standardized system and the list is expected to grow. All right, I want everyone to look at our wrists, and can you tell a big difference between these bands? So I'm going to tell you right so now as, these, as... This one means DNR, right? In some yeah. hospitals, some it does. Do not resuscitate. And I'll tell you what, as a doctor, you run into a room, and someone is coding, not breathing, no heartbeat. There's a lot of adrenaline, not only going through your system, but everyone else in that room. And you run in, and someone's got a Live Strong bracelet on, like this, and that's one. the same color, because that's what you have on. This, yeah, and I wear this, this every day. And you do, yeah. in these situations, run the risk of confusion. Right. And, and it's not standardized across hospitals. You know, one hospital I work in, if they yell code blue over the intercom, it means something totally different than another hospital. Right. What does a yellow bracelet mean in one hospital over another? And that's what we're talking about right now, is trying to standardize not only the system, but how do yeah. we avoid miscommunication And this is actually happens, that people are in a different hospital, and like you said, in one hospital, yellow means something, and means something totally different in another hospital. It's caused big mistakes. People wear these if you, if for certain allergies. We'll have a color and it'll list people's allergies on it. If you're a fall risk, if you're a do not resuscitate, which is a good thing. The biggest problem is when someone first comes into the hospital, into the ER, they first are admitted to a room. Before people get to know the patient and their wishes, it would be awful to go into someone's room and they're wearing a bracelet like yours and, and you don't resuscitate. Because have, they support cancer research. Right. Right. I have a problem with the bracelets, exactly. too, though, because a lot of things sometimes change, especially with the DNR. I mean, and that's much more serious than, you know, um, some of the other colors. But with the DNR, I mean, the family or the person may go back and forth, and so, uh, you know, they've got a yellow bracelet, but what if they're thinking about it, you know, and they've just got this bracelet on, and that's what's going on. I think, you know, there has to be... Look, much better standardization, you know, but yeah, also I don't think bracelets are the answer to it, I, I especially for serious. I don't think it's reasonable, I'm sorry, Jim, to, to totally eliminate these bands that represent a good cause. Yeah. That you're, right. you're, you're yeah, I'm going to still wear this. I'm just going to write maybe exactly. on the back, this is not exactly. a DNR <laughs> but, <laughs> bracelet. Well, but I, I, think yeah. you were, I, I think you were starting to say it, there is a better way. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, just like barcoding, when you go to the grocery store and you're checking out, I mean, if these type bracelets... This with one. our, with this our is happy a, little faces so on these, barcode and digital uh, barcode bracelets. It's got our pictures on it, and that's important because in, it happens yeah, maybe in a children's uh, hospital where I used to work at that the kids, you know, especially the teenagers, they like to goof around and they would switch. I had the, sometimes they would trade bracelets. Wow. The color code cool. kind of violates the hospital patient privacy because if everybody knows what color it is, they're going to know if you're DNR or something like that. And that's, I think that's a private decision. Yeah. That can't be a private decision when you're in a hospital because every nurse and healthcare provider in that hospital should know if you are do not resuscitate. Right, but private yeah, from other you know, people, you, you can have things in your chart. And, you know, and people have looked in charts for eons. No, but the, the room, at the front of a room, it will say, do not resuscitate. But if you're down in because the cafeteria having lunch with your family you or something. Yeah, and you, and you have a heart attack in the cafeteria, Jim. People need to know if you don't yeah, want to be resuscitated. That's true. But can't you, you do don't, it don't always, yeah. don't always die in their beds. You can do it in a more subtle way, though, than to have yeah. it, like, screaming. But there's no such thing as subtle when someone's coding. I mean, I, in the ER, every time, every day, someone's dying. It's crazy. Right. It, when right. it's crazy, it's crazy like that, you can't subtly say, oh, I think there's a small tattoo in the small of their back that has That's yellow look, on it. Yeah. I mean, I mean you've got, it's got to be out there in bold letters, D-N-R. There's right. got to be something yeah. in the medical records that is signed, that is obvious. Because if we're not certain, mm -hmm. we're going to There can't be any source of confusion well, what, what problem is that with the resuscitation? 
if there's any confusion, because maybe even the patient has confusion. If there's oh, confusion, then you resuscitate. Tent, yeah. If there's right. any question, then you resuscitate. You resuscitate. And, and there have been unfortunate circumstances where there, all the time, where, where there's confusion, where you're not sure as the treating physician if this person truly wants to be resuscitated. Family members have differing goals and objectives. The, these bracelets are a bad idea. These, where you could literally scan that in, yeah. and maybe it pops up and says, made a do not resuscitate on such and such a date, signed document in the chart. I want to thank uh, the Morton Plant Mies Hospitals in Clearwater, Florida for the yellow DNR bracelets as well as General Data. They gave us these digital barcode bracelets. And I just want to let you know that you are my doctor. You're my yeah. doctor. I hope Aww. you're good. Are you good? Yeah. I want to move on to another subject that affects a lot of, of people without them maybe even